Hello, in this video I will show you how to create a ROS2 C++ package. For these tutorials, I am assuming that you are working on a Linux machine running Ubuntu and that you have followed the instructions to install ROS2 as depicted in the official ROS2 documentation page. If you want to skip the installation process, you can learn ROS2 right away in the free platform available at the construct. Now let's proceed with creating this ROS2 C++ package. The first important thing that you need to know is that you must always be inside the ROS2 workspace source directory. So to create a ROS2 package, we will use the ROS2 package create command. It's essential to specify a name for your package. In this case, my superbrot. You can see that the default build type is amend CMake, which means that this is a C++ package by default. You can use the command ls to see your package created and the command for the program tree to see all the files that we created. You can see the CMake list file an include directory with a subdirectory my superbot and a package XML file as well as a source directory. Before continuing, I will remove or delete the package that I just created. Or I will create a new package create using the ROS2 package create command, the name of the command, and I will specify the dependencies that I want my package to have. I do this by using uh, the dependencies flag and the name of the packages that my package will depend on. In this case, RCL, CPP and standard messages. And the process um, is just exactly the same as before. And basically it created just the same files and directories as before. Only the package XML file now includes the new dependencies that I specified. I will delete this package again because I want to show you another option that you can use for creating a package. Now I repeat the command res2 package create, I give it a main, my underscore superbot, I specify the dependencies, again I use rclcpp and um, now I will use the option build type and I will specify amend cmake. So you will often see this in tutorials that they do that. Basically I'm specifying and being explicit about that I want to create a C++ package. But as you already know, this is done by default. And again I see the same files have, have been created. Now I will delete my superbot package and I will create a directory inside the source folder in my ROS2 workspace and I created, I'm creating this um, directory to contain other ROS packages in a way for having it everything organized inside this subdirectory. To create a package I use the ROS2 package create command and I specify the name, in this case superbot underscore description. Now I can create a second package in this, inside the subdirectory. I use ROS2 package create and I give it a name, in this case superbot underscore detection. And I can create a third package here, ROS2 package create and the name superbot underscore audio. And well, if I execute the tree command, I will see I have three packages created here. One is superbot audio, superbot description, superbot detection. Each of these packages will have one CMake list script inside it. A package XML file and also the source directory in all of them. Okay. Now, let's build our packages. 
So to build our packages, we must always be at the root directory of our workspace. So let's cd to the root directory of our workspace, and from there we can execute the command called com build. That's it. By executing this command, it will compile the package that we just created. By building the package, the ROS workspace, it will also create the build directory, the install directory, and the log directory. Um, remember, after building, you should always source your install directory in your workspace and basically you do the source install setup.bash command and if you want you can execute both commands in one line just writing calcom build um, semicolon and then source install plus setup.bash in one line and it will do the both commands one after the other so that's I that's it about this video thank you very much for watching if you do like it you can subscribe and see you on the next video bye bye